Hello YouTube and welcome to this 3DS Max tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking over at Pro Boolean or Pro Boolean whichever way you want to say it. So what this basically does is it extracts the portion of that from when two shapes are intersecting and so one basic way to show you would be to get a box if I open this box up and we'll just resize it to I don't know, 100 Hundred sixty, so you can see it. And now, if we wanted to hollow this box out, we would click on the top, delete it, add a shell modifier. It's all good. However, there is another way to do it, and this is how I'm going to show you the pro boolean method. If we clone this, convert to poly, not poly, sorry. Right click, clone. There we go. Copy it, and we just lower it. Like the length will be eighty. We'll just take eighty off for everything. There we go. And if we go to our side view, um, Alt W for maximizing, so we can drag it up and put it right there. Then if we were to extend this out of the box like that, so it's hanging out, we can take away that part of it from this box. So if we click the box we want to take take the object from, so the bottom one, and go to our normal list and click compound objects, we'll get Pro Boolean click it and if you click start picking just make sure you've got move ticked and untick it there it creates completely takes it out with only a few extra polygons so now we've got room in it and now you might think if we can do it with a shell modifier why do we need it so if we were to say ignore that it's an error what keeps popping up if we delete that and we'll go to our shapes one and create a star just like that we'll create a basic star and yeah, that'll do then if we put this in the center like that, what we can do is if we had a face extrude modifier like that, it'll get a face simple enough, then we add an editable poly on top of that what we can do is if we extract this upwards so it's got some thickness to it and we'll just say 0.2 what's that look like? there we go, we'll say about there, that'll do then if we like get some what you call it cylinders there and we place one at each corner here so one here lift it up and then we can hold shift and move it to each corner like so move that in a better place there we go select these three and move them over here like so and if you can't guess what we're making yet, you will soon guess. But if we were to grab this one and move it in here finally, what we can do is, is we may have a load of cylinders now, but if we select all these and drag them down a bit so it's going through the bottom as well, we can select the star, find our pro boolean from compound objects, and click start picking and then pick each one of these off. You now have a ninja star. Obviously you could like make the edges better, like make it sharper, but yes, there's a basic ninja star. You could also, I'm just imagining a slice of cheese right now, you could do a slice of cheese, a yellow bit cheese. Um, you could do a window if you so wish, so if we were to just do a smallish house. And then at the side, we'll create a window. So drag it out of this side, there and we go to our pro boolean again start picking there we've got a window kind of thing so that's all good but um, I do a lot of game making tutorials if you don't know so what could we do for game making tutorials apart from buildings we could do a cave um, obviously a cave you would have to spend a long long time on but say if we just got a cylinder for now so there's our cylinder we've got a weird cylinder shaped thing um, imagine it's all full of rubble. Well, we can just do that now. There we go. So we've got we've got a weird cave system thing. Don't ask me why it's like that, but yeah. So if we were to get a box and just say put it here, like so, and drag it out, then make it so we can see it at this front end. There, that's it. Then if we were to mess with this box and make the shape deformed, so convert it to a poly. So how should we make it deform? We could like add this, add one of these here, one of these up here, 
this one over here, this one a bit over here. So we're just basically deforming it to make it look like rubble. Obviously you have to add a lot more polygons and everything to make it look better than it did. So if we've got a deformed kind of thing, now if we were to select these two here and do it to a, say over here, then we can select all three of these caves, convert one of them to an entable poly and attach it. So if we find it, attach, click, click. So now they're all attached so that we can move it all as one. See, simple. Now if we get our um, pro boolean and click start picking, boom. We now have a weird entrance to our cave. So if we were to say, I don't know, go to the bottom of this and get our box and in our box we could do it like so. Um, yeah, that's that'll do. And if we were to convert this to an editable poly, that's not that's not an editable poly, that one. We can drag this out to here. Drag this one over here, this one over here, but drag this bit down a bit. Now we could grab the side of this and extrude it a little, like so. And if you can't see what I'm doing, you will see soon. Grab that edge again, extrude it a little bit. Drag it out, and this final bit, drag it out a bit more. There, so we've done that, however it's too high, it's covery. currently hitting the top of it. So we can do that. And if we select our shape again, start picking, click. So now we go in, and you've got a real cave system. So as you can see, you've got a cave, a weird house, it's all shaped. You could obviously spend more time on it, but then you've got a cave out of three buildings. You could create a crack in a wall. Stuff like that, if you wanted to hollow something out, it's really helpful. So that's Pro Boolean, I hope you liked it. Um, short tutorial, see you next time.